Now it's time for me to do my backsplash on my garage sink. I have these subway tiles that were left over from the build. And I'm going to put those in here type thing. But I needed a way to hold them up that first row. So what I did was built a plywood stand, if you will, that just is just enough that will hold uh, the first row of top. So it's just propped up there with a couple blocks of wood. I made sure it was level. And as you can see, I just put a couple taped them on for seeing to measure how how many towels I'll need. And I'm just going to do two wide and let's see, one, two, three, four, five high. And I'll do that all around. And I'm going to use mastic as my adhesive because this is in a really a wet area. And mastic works real good for this stuff. Well, let's get going with that. That first row is going to be a little tougher because I've got to maneuver around this sink. And it's not worth taking out, uninstalling it, and then putting it back in for this little job. Might be easier just to put it on with a scraper and then put the ridges in it with the trowel. Easier, much easier. I'm able to reach down in there. And I put a vertical line on. So I know how far to go too on the vertical axis. And what I'm gonna do is just back butter so I get better contact, that'll be good. Well, there's one in. Time for a break. Nah, just kidding. Now the spacers aren't going to stick. It's not a problem. And I'm going to use a shrewder edging on this too. So I'm going to leave this one edge a little bit light instead of pounding it in. And because that first row is critical to being even, and I can't see all the way down there, let's do it this way. Right on. My goodness. pieces before we started you know sometimes small jobs like this tend to be more difficult than larger jobs well I'm getting good adhesive good grab I'm a little light on that corner there, though. I'm going to have more of these spacers on the ground than I am on the wall. This is all done.
I'll keep putting a couple more rows on and I'll check back with you in a minute. Okay, got the top row in now. That wasn't bad at all. Didn't even take a coffee break. And what I'm planning to do now is use this shrewder edging to finish off the edges. And for this piece back here, I've already cut a 45 degree angle on that piece. And I'll show you how that's done. That's easy. But I've got a measure now to get coming down the this edge. For my miter cut there on the edge, I'm just going to use a framing square and cut it on a wet saw. And here's another way to put that 45 degree cut on it. Just put it in a miter box, clamp it down so you don't have to mess with trying to keep it straight. Just saw with a hacksaw. time it goes pretty quick by clamping it down you're not fighting with it and then just use some snippers cut out that last piece let's see how it works And we'll put the edge piece, the other edge piece in. Well, I gotta cut this a little bit. fit. We can do that. Possibly see that just a little long. I will cut that down. All right, that's a better fit now. And one more check. See if we're on the level. Look at that. Right on. And if it wasn't, I was going to blame it on the foundation. Now it's time for a coffee break. We'll let that set up. Transfer the uh, bracing there on the bottom to the back wall. And we'll do that wall. Looking good.
that's the one we're looking for. The last one. That's it. Right on. Right on. Good fit, good fit. We'll let that set up overnight, and then I'll come in and grout it. Well, it's time to grout. I'm going to use this ready to use grout that was left behind when they were doing the uh, backsplash in my kitchen. And once you have enough of it in the joints, just take a bucket of clean water. Nappy even gives you this sponge in there. And just rub it clean. I think. Routing kind of the messiest part of the job myself. Even though I've got a sink here, I'm using the bucket so the grout doesn't get in the sink and then I have to wash it down the drain and then that gets stuffed up on me. Take a clean sponge, just go over it one more time. So far, so good. Now I'll do the back wall. Well, I got it done for the most part. At least both sides now are grouted. So it's looking good. But not all the grout made it into the seams. Got a little bit on the floor there on the cardboard. Well, there's the finished product. Came out pretty decent. It's 90 degree cuts that I made in the Schroeder came out real decent too. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next project. Well, this is the brand of mastic I'm using. And I'm using a quarter inch trowel. So let's get started.